gambler. I'm going to go for it. Oof, she's let's got go, guts. Let's go with the audience. Let's say C, Steam, final answer. Yes, it's Steam. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I got to do it. Homo erectus, final answer. Just what a half million dollars. Whoa. What is Jason Scott? Yes. Thank you very much. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Still recovering from Sunday night when our returning contestant, Jason Scott, tossed me around like a rag doll after winning his fastest finger question. This is a big boy, mind you. I mean, I've been hugged before, but this time I lost sensation in my legs. Look at this. Yeah, here he is, Jason Scott, our returning contestant. Nice to have you here, Jason. From Alexander City, Alabama, that's near Montgomery, and he's uh, a youth minister, a youth director, I guess, for a Methodist church there. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Thanks, Regis. Uh, it's, uh, I'm still reeling from that, that shot I took on the well, chin. Well, you, you know, I thought yeah. we'd fool around a little. You hugged me, and I slapped you. That's the way it should fair, be. Fair, fair, yeah, fair. And your wife, Jennifer, is with you. Hi, Jennifer, how you doing? Have you ever been hugged like that by him? Yes, actually, I have once. Wow, and you recovered. You lived to tell the tale. How long have you been married? Three years, almost. Three years, and you've got one son, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think? You work in the church as well, don't right, you? I do. And what do you do, Jennifer? I do the children's part. He does the youth, I do the children. Uh-huh. And you're with the teenagers? Yeah. So how many do you have under your charge? Uh, active, probably about 65 or so. Active. All right, Jason, let's get started here. Uh, if you want to join Jason, incidentally, and thousands of other internet-savvy trivia hounds, log on to abc.com right now and play our enhanced TV game. Jason has won $1,000. He's 10 questions away from winning $1 million. And once he reaches $32,000, he's guaranteed to leave you with at least that much money. You have all three of your lifelines left, Jason. That's good. 50-50. Ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. Jason, are you ready to play? Audience, are you ready to play? Let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right now. Okay, Jason, here we go for $2,000. According to the title of a hit 1980s song by the Weather Girls, it's raining. What? Gold, fame, joy, men. Uh, know it from the, uh, movie, the TV show uh, Living Color. In Living Color with uh, Damon Wayans, and they would sing, It's raining me. So, uh, D, final answer. Got it right for $2,000. It's raining me. $4,000. What American artist was known for his cover illustrations for the Saturday Evening Post? Edward Hopper, Norman Rockwell, Jasper Johns, Frederick Remington. B, Norman Rockwell, final answer. That's right, it was Norman Rockwell, the most famous of all American artists. Jason, going for $8,000. Which of the following crops is harvested with a thresher? Tomatoes, carrots, wheat, oranges. Uh, C, wheat. Final? Final answer. Yes, sir, got $8,000. Here it comes for 16000 What company's 1980s award-winning TV ad campaign starred renowned fast talker John Moshita, Federal Express, Volkswagen, Nike, Apple? I'm pretty sure, 80% uh, sure that it's uh, A, Federal Express. Enough to make it your final answer. Yes, for $16,000. Did the right thing, saved your lifelines. Here it comes for $32,000. What is the only film released with an X rating to win the Academy Award for Best Picture? 
Carnal Knowledge, A Clockwork Orange, Lolita, Midnight Cowboy. Only know three of them. I, uh, I got a lot of publicity when I got that X rating. Um, I was born in 73, and I don't remember when this was. I, I know that A Clockwork Orange, well, I don't say that. Uh, I think I'm going to have to use the lifeline ranges. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, I'm going to have to ask the audience. Why don't we do that? Audience, Jason needs your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Forty-eight percent go with Midnight Cowboy, yeah. and uh, Clockwork Orange came in second. Uh, that's the two that I mean. I say that that's the two that I thought, and I, I have. Uh, let's just go with it. The final answer. Thank you, audience. You got them thirty-two thousand dollars. When we come back, we go for sixty-four thousand. Jason Scott from Alexander City, Alabama, that's uh, near Montgomery, works in a Methodist church as a, as a youth minister, has won $32,000, can't go home with less than that. So what will you do with this money? Uh, I'm going to help a friend start a, uh, a mission or opportunity for youth, other church youth, to be able to come to our area, and out of what I'd like to do, rather, and, uh, and do minor home repair and... Uh, and build homes for needy children or needy families. Uh -huh. And what about for the lovely wife sitting back there? I promised her a pair of uh, hippie shoes. I'm going to buy her a pair of hippie shoes. You're going to buy her a pair of shoes? Yeah. You're going to win a million dollars here, you're going to buy her a pair of shoes. That's all she asked for. That's she's... all she's going to get then, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jason, you're five away from the big bucks. Here it comes for 64000 Let's play. The region known as Patagonia is primarily located in what country? Greenland, Argentina, Spain, Italy. Well, I've got it narrowed down to two in, in uh, my 50-50. I'm thinking they, uh, if I narrowed down to two, it might be those two and it wouldn't help me. Any. So I'm, if I'd... I could just do my own 50 50. All right. Uh, Somebody you want to call? Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people on my list that would know it. I guarantee 64 if I choose to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, and I wouldn't want to risk it. And I think I owe it to for this purpose that we want to have the money for. I, I want to uh, call my father. I want to call your dad. What's yeah. his name? Jerry Scott. All right, fine. Let's get Jerry Scott on the line, AT&T. Hello? Hey, Hello, Jerry. Yes. Regis Philbin calling from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hello, Mr. Philbin. I'm here with your son, Jason, and he needs your help. He's going for 64000 right now, and he's got a question and uh, four possible answers, all right? Yes, sir. All right, good enough. So, Jason, it's all yours with 30 seconds right now. Uh, Patagonia is primarily located in what country? Greenland, Argentina, Spain, or Italy? Patagonia is located primarily what country? Greenland, Argentina, uh, Spain, or Italy? 15 seconds. Argentina, 100%. I figured you'd know it. Was, it was that one or another one. Uh, how are you doing? Doing great, Jason. Missing you, bud. Thanks, Pop. War Eagle. <laughs> War Eagle. What did he say? War Eagle. Uh, Auburn University. Mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, final answer, uh, what he said. Argentina, Please. final yeah. answer. Argentina, the right answer for $64,000. All right, you're up to $125,000, and we still have the 50-50. Here it is. What classic poem features the line, a jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and thou, Kublai Khan, Paradise Lost, the Rubaiyat, the Fairy Queen. <sighs> what do you use the 50-50? Computer, would you now row it down, please, by two? I'm, 
I've read, Par I've read Paradise Lost a long time ago in high school. I haven't, uh, didn't read the Rubiot. I don't remember it being in Paradise Lost, but then again, it probably is. And, and uh, that's a lot of money, reaches to me. 64,000, there's 10 people here dying to play. I'm just gonna walk. Final answer. Okay, the final answer is your walk. What do you think it was? I was gonna say C, because I don't remember it being in B. Yeah, you're right, it would have been C, yeah. 125, but here's 64,000, Jason. How's that look to you? Take care of yourself. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'm really glad Jason left quietly. I don't think I could have taken another one of those bear hugs of his. But 64,000 should go a long way toward helping those needy families. We wish them all the best. All right, now let's meet 10 people who want to win a million dollars, okay? And they are Laura Gamboni, Grace Lake, Illinois, Michael Stewart, Bettery, Louisiana, Ken Trance, Virginia Beach, Virginia, Jonathan Curlin, Orinda, California. Charles Ellis, Rocky River, Ohio. Leslie Lake, Cooper City, Florida. Pat Harton, Troy, Alabama. Kathleen Anglee, Chicago, Illinois. Peter Portless, Minnetonka, Minnesota. John McCaffrey, Hewitt, Texas. Okay, congratulations everybody getting this far. Now we're gonna play our first fastest finger question of the night, but please, if you win, be gentle with me. Here it is. Were these musical performers in order by the date of their birth, starting with the earliest? Mark Anthony, Jessica Simpson, Sting, Lenny Kravitz. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest, and it was Sting. And then Lenny Kravitz, and then Mark Anthony, and then Jessica Simpson. Who got it right at the fastest time? Let's see. The winner is... Kathleen Ong Lee. Congratulations, Kathleen. Here we go. <laughs> Kathleen Ong Lee from Chicago, Illinois. She attends the University of Chicago uh, uh, Medical School in uh, the same city, and it's nice to have you here. Congratulations. Thanks, Rita. Married to Michael. How are you, Michael? Nice to see you. Michael is also a doctor, is that right? That's right. All right, good enough, uh, Kathleen. We're glad you're here. You know about the lifelines, you know about the rules. Why don't we do it? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Kathleen on the $100. Someone who is in a lot of trouble is said to be in which of the following? Cool breeze, warm bath, hot water, Molten lava. Um, it's C, hot water. Final? Final. That's right. Hot water. <laughs> Going for $200 right now. <clears throat> what condiment is most commonly put on a hot dog? Maple syrup, mustard, soy sauce, leash. B, final answer. Yes, mustard is what you use, and you got $200. <laughs> Going for 300 which of these student activities is considered extracurricular? Giving book report, taking chemistry exam, decorating for prom, attending gym class? That would be C, final answer. C is the right answer, decorating for prom. Got it right for 300 $500. A hatchet is a small type of what tool? An ax, screwdriver, saw, Pliers. The answer is A, axe. Final? Yes. That's what it is, the small axe. She got 500, she's going for 1,000. A person will go to an infirmary to get help for which of these problems? Bad credit, ripped pants, broken wrist, broken computer. C, broken wrist, final answer. Pays to be a medical student, you got it right for $1,000. Kathleen Ong Lee from the University of Chicago Medical School is uh, in our hot seat right now. Actually, she almost got here a little, a little sooner than this. About two months ago, you had a callback for, for our show, right? That's right. What um, happened? 
Well, I knew that they were going to start calling at 11 a.m. Central Time, and I had to take my dog for a walk, so I left plenty of time, forgot my keys in the door, locked out of my apartment. Um, I wasn't able to get back in until hours later, but I was like, oh, they never call me back. It won't be this time. But I got in, and sure enough, there were two messages on the answering machine saying I forfeited. Oh, no so kidding. It's so frustrating after being locked out. In other words, you've got to be there between the hours they say they might call. You, you've got to be there by the phone. Wow. Yeah. And uh, you must have been brokenhearted. Yeah, I actually shed a few tears. Did you really? <laughs> I was so frustrated. Oh, I'll bet. Been trying to get on the show for a long time. Sure. And then, so what'd you do? You just picked up the phone and started calling again? <laughs> That's right. Good for you. Didn't give up. And, and you're here, see? So it worked out. Mm -hmm. And you're doing fine. You won $1,000. We're going to go for 2000 right now, Kathleen. Hang on. Let's play. $2,000. Which of the following names is also the Latin word for king? John. Leo, Mark, Rex. D, Rex, final answer. Yes, Rex for $2,000. <laughs> Up to 4000 Which of these cities is closest to Tampa, Florida? Miami, Tallahassee, St. Petersburg, Orlando. I'm afraid I don't know my Florida geography too well. Damn. Um, I think I'm going to have to ask the audience for this one. Sure, we understand. Audience, we need some help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 53% say it's St. Petersburg. I'm going to go with the audience and say C. Final answer. Yes, audience, you got it right again for $4,000. Okay, Kathleen, you're up to 8000 Who sings the Oscar-winning song, Things Have Changed, from the 2000 movie, Wonder Boys? David Bowie, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, or Sting? Uh, it's B, Bob Dylan. Final answer. Yes, it was Bob Dylan. $16,000, Kathleen. In February of 1999, what group acquitted President Clinton of all charges in his impeachment trial? U.S. Senators, House of Representatives, U.S. Supreme Court, Independent Committee. to use my lifeline or another lifeline already. I know, but you got to stay in but the game, I'm just, don't you? I'm not thinking of this one. Um, I'm going to call a friend. Sure. Who do you want to call? Uh, I'd like to call Mark. What does Mark do? He's in banking. He's a banking? Banking. Oh, a banking. All right, fine. <laughs> Let's get Mark on the line, at and Hello. Hello, Mark. Yeah. Regis Philbin calling from New York. Well, hello, Regis. Got Kathleen here. She needs a little help with the $16,000 question. Oh, okay. All right, so she's going to read you the question and the four possible answers, and it's all yours. Okay. Kathleen, 30 seconds right now. In February 1999, what group acquitted President Clinton of all charges in his impeachment trial? U.S. Senators, House of Representatives, Supreme Court, or an independent committee? 19 seconds. Thirteen seconds. Looking at where are the four choices again? Um, senators. Senators. House. Okay, thanks. Mark. February twelfth. Senate. One hundred percent. You're one hundred percent. Thank you. Yep. Mark was out of breath by the time they got to that one, huh? Yeah, I I was leaning towards that, but I wasn't sure. Sure. I'm gonna go with Mark and say okay. A. Final answer. Mark got it for sixteen thousand dollars. Very good. Kathleen, we got to get to 32,000. You got one lifeline left, and here it is. During the U.S. Civil War, what was the westernmost state in the Confederacy? Texas, Louisiana, Tennessee, Mississippi. The Confederacy, westernmost. I think it was Tennessee. Mississippi, Louisiana. I'm trying to remember if 
Texas was in the Confederacy then. I don't think it was. Why do we not roll down, computer? Take away two of those wrong answers. Okay. I hope I'm remembering correctly about Texas. It's very nerve wracking up here. I'm sure it is. I'm going to say B, Louisiana. Final answer. Final answer. Ah, it's Texas. Son of a gun, it's Texas. <laughs> Kathleen, I'm sorry. $1,000. Thanks. Darn geography questions. I know. Good luck, kiddo. Thank you. Well, Louisiana was in the Confederacy, but so was Texas, and it's too bad because Kathleen really had to fight her way to get to that $32,000 question. All right, now our hot seat's getting cold, so here's the next fastest finger question. With the following advertising icons in order of their original debut, starting with the earliest. Pillsbury Doughboy, Marlboro Man, Tony the Tiger, Keebla Elves. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest icon, and it was Tony the Tiger. And then the Marlboro Man, and Pillsbury, uh, Doughboy, and finally Keebler Elf. Who got it right of the fastest time? Let's see. Winner is Ken Grant. <laughs> How are you, Ken? Great. Good for you. Ken's going to come back and go for a million dollars. Ken Kranz from Virginia Beach, Virginia, in the hot seat right now. He is a, a lawyer, uh, serves as a legal editor for a computer research company, does a variety of things. So it's a tour guide out there at the Williamsburg uh, uh, Village. Yeah, it, um, I, uh, in, in the season, in the summer and uh, spring, when uh, student tour group groups go to Williamsburg, I, uh, I take uh, student tour groups around Williamsburg and Washington, D.C., show them the sites. And they take great pains at Williamsburg to make it look authentic, oh, don't yes, they? yes, it's magnificent, the job they've done there. Absolutely. And also, you're a singer-actor in a local theater group down there. Yes. Uh, in fact, I'm, uh, well, I hope I still am. I'm missing a rehearsal to be here tonight, and they don't like it when you miss rehearsals. Oh, so, my gosh. Uh, you're in hot water already. And accompanied by your wife, Joe. And Joe, it's nice to see you. And guess what Joe is? She's an attorney. What else? Come on. The whole family is in law business. Well, you know about the rules, Ken. You know about the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Ken Prince. We start at the $100 question. In a famous sonnet by Elizabeth Barrett Browning, what line follows, How do I love thee? I will tell you now. It's really hard to say. Let me count the ways. Stop asking me that. Well, three of the four would make nice lines, but the actual one is C. Let me count the ways. Final answer. That's the right answer for $100. <laughs> Going for $200 in the classic cow tipping prank. Cows are tipped while they are doing what? Grazing, walking, sleeping, belching. Sleeping makes sense. I don't want to use a lifeline. I'll make C my final answer. Got it for two hundred dollars. Three hundred. Which of these professionals is most likely to perform a root canal? Dentist, plumber, paper boy, Don in accounting. <laughs> Well, any of them's welcome to try, but the only <laughs> one who's going to try on me is going to be a dentist. A, final answer. That's right, a dentist. Who can help? Come on. $500. Which of the following is not listed on a driver's license? Date of birth, eye color, shoe size, home address. 
Well, on mine, all those are there except shoe size, and uh, there's 50 states. You never know. Somebody may go for one, but uh, I'm going to say shoe size. C, final answer. And you're right for $500. Here we go again for $1,000. In the early 20th century, movies with a recorded soundtrack were commonly called what? Dialoguers, tongue waggers, wordies, talkies. That's D, talkies, final answer. Got it for a thousand dollars. All right, he's going for two thousand dollars, Ken. Check it out. The U.S. military's 1961 Bay of Pigs invasion was devised to overthrow what political leader? Juan Perón, Fidel Castro, Nikita Khrushchev, Francois Duvalier. Yep. The Bay of Pigs is on the island of Cuba, and the invasion was designed to overthrow Fidel Castro. B, final answer. Castro, the right answer. Up to 4,000. What kind of material is formica? Plastic, wood, metal, glass. Okay. Well, it can be made to look like lots of things, but uh, formica itself is uh, plastic. A, final answer. Yes, sir, for $4,000. Eight thousand, Ken. According to a 1969 Simon and Garfunkel song, what girl is shaking their confidence daily? Maria, Jessica, Rachel, Cecilia. Okay, let me sort of hum that in my head a little. Yes, that is. Cecilia, you're shaking my confidence daily. Cecilia, D, final answer. $8,000 winner. <laughs> Going for 16 grand. What city became the capital of Germany after the country's reunification in 1990? Bonn, Frankfurt, Berlin, Munich. Okay, before reunification, Bonn was the capital of the Federal Republic of West Germany, but Berlin was the historical capital before division, and so um, I'm pretty sure on this, don't want to use a lifeline, that after reunification the capital did move from Bonn to Berlin, so I'm going to say C, Berlin, final answer. Yes, for 16,000 in Berlin. Way to go, Dan. We'll be back in a moment when he goes for $32,000. Ken France from Virginia Beach, Virginia, in the hot seat right now, plays a little game at home with his uh, youngest daughter who is also a watcher of The Millionaire Show, and uh, you call it Who Wants to Be a Nicolaire? That's right. A uh, lot of uh, questions she can get. There's questions about cartoons and nursery rhymes mm -hmm. and stuff. And, That's what uh, they're there for, really. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and Sarah plays, and uh, when she gets it right, she gets a nickel. Of course, we haven't actually been paying her. We've been running a tab, and I keep hoping she'll forget how much it is. But <laughs> now that you mention it on the air, she'll see it. So I guess I'm stuck. I what is the tab up to uh, now? The tab's up to about three and a half, four bucks last time I looked. Four bucks? Well, we've been watching the show for a year and a half. I <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cute. Well, all right, fine. So here's where you are now. You've won 16000 If you miss, you'll lose fifteen. But we're going for $32,000, and you're six away from all this big money. Let's play. Here it comes for $32,000. Which of these classic books tells the story of a society of wild rabbits? Stuart Little, Watership Down, The Wind in the Willows, The Velveteen Rabbit. If I did 50-50, I'm pretty sure what would be remain. So like 
Like an earlier contestant said, I'm going to be my own 50-50. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> yeah, my, when I play the game at home, my general rule is if an answer comes to me before the four answers show, I'm general, it's generally the right one. And before, when you read the clue, mm -hmm. I was thinking Watership Down, and it came up. So I want to get to 32 and keep my lifelines. So I'm going to say Watership Down, B, and make it my final answer. And I'm going to say it's the right answer for 32,000. Your strategy was to hold off using the lifelines as long as you could. And now you've won 32, going for 64,000 and five away from a million dollars. Here it is. Whose newborn son was featured on the 1953 premiere issue of TV Guide? Lucille Ball, Loretta Young, Eve Arden, Gracie Allen. Well, the same rule. Uh, I had a guess when you read the question because I know that's a little before my time, but uh, I know that the, the plot line of, of Lucy being pregnant with little Ricky was, was a big part of the uh, uh, I Love Lucy at right about that time. And uh, because it was a TV event with pregnancy being part of the plot of the show, my gut feeling was Lucille Ball when it came up. This is a free guess at 64. You got it all figured out, don't you? Well, I pick up a few points. I'm, I'm a big fan. I've been watching oh, the show a long time. Picked up, you know uh, what you're doing, and that's good. Yeah, pick, picked up some ideas on strategy and preparation for getting here. So I'm going to use the free guess at 64 to say A, Lucille Ball, final answer. And it paid off. You got $64,000. Desi Arnaz the fourth. All right, four questions, three lifelines, 125,000. Here it is. Which of these mythological creatures was not defeated by Hercules? Nemean, lion. Chimera, Cretan bull. Hydra. Okay, the, the Hydra and the Nemean lion were defeated by Hercules. So I'm wavering between B and C. And I think I will go with 50-50 to see what stays up. Sure, why don't we do that? Computer, take away two of those wrong answers. <laughs> and, and that's what stayed up. Okay, the, Cre the Cretan bull, I don't recall from Hercules' labors, but I believe the Chimera was the mythological monster who was, I, I think that was Bellerophon in Greek mythology, not Hercules. And I'm gonna go with my gut and say B, Chimera, final answer. Just won $125,000. Ken Prant, an attorney from Virginia Beach, Virginia, uh, retired from the Navy after 22 years of service, many years uh, spent as a military judge, and now missing uh, some rehearsals for the Virginia Opera. Company. That's right. Uh, I hope it pays off. I think it is. It looks like it's going to be big. Uh, so far, yeah, it's, I'd have to say it's a tra fair trade-off at this I point. I think it's a nice payday <laughs> for you. What, uh, what would you do with this money? Oh, gosh. Well, uh, Joe wants to remodel a kitchen, uh, if there's anything left after that. <laughs> well, she has expensive taste in cabinetry. Uh -huh. um, want to travel. Uh, I, uh, one of my hobbies is scuba diving. Want to go back to Jacksonville, Florida, my favorite dive shop, and just 
say, give me one of everything, because scuba divers love gadgets, mm -hmm. and then go down to the Bahamas and test it all out. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Sounds terrific. Well, I think you've, you played this game just right. Very, very cagey, very judicious in your selection of uh, uh, lifelines. And so you've got two left, and you've got just three questions left of the million dollars. And we're going for a quarter million. Should you miss here, you lose 93,000. Let's play. Here we go. <laughs> Who wrote the first jazz composition to win the Pulitzer Prize for music? Miles Davis. Duke Ellington, Charles Minkus, Wynton Marsalis. All distinguished jazz composers. And I think I'd like to phone a friend. Who do you want to call? Uh, I'd like to call Tom. What does he do? Uh, he's another attorney with an interest in music. Uh, met him doing uh, community theater. Okay, he fine. Live in Washington. Well, let's get Tom on the line, at and Hello? Oh, hi, Tom. It's uh, Regis Philbin. How are you? Regis I? Philbin, how are you doing? Yeah, well, I'm doing better than you, it sounds. But oh, anyway. man. I thought, I thought you got cut off. <laughs> no, we're here. OK. And we're listening. How's my pal doing? Uh, who, Ken? Yeah. He's doing great. He's won $125,000, but he'd like to win a little more. Sounds good to me. And that's where you come in. All right, so you're going for a, a quarter million. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm Ken here is going to read you the question of the four possible answers. Now, remember, you're on the air, okay? Gotcha. Ken, it's all yours. you got 30 seconds right now. Tom, first jazz composition, win Pulitzer Prize for music. Who wrote? The first jazz composition to who win. Wrote the first jazz composition that won the Pulitzer Prize for music. Yes. Who wrote it? Miles Davis, Duke Ellington, Charles Mingus, Wynton Marsalis. Seven, Golly. seven seconds. Wynton Marsalis. You sure on that? Oh, about 70%. <laughs> Lose 93 if, uh, if you yeah. go with it and it's wrong. Win 250 if it's right. Yeah, and worst case, I got 32 more than I came with. And you still have a lifeline. <sighs> yes, don't want to leave any lifelines on the table. Okay, let's, let's ask the audience. Okay, audience, we need your help on this one. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, there you go, 46% said it was uh, Winton, and uh, the Duke got uh, 30%. Yeah, and the Duke w had a long and distinguished career as a composer. I was kind of leaning towards him. <sighs> Your photo okay. friend said he was he 70 said he was about percent. To, and he's a smart guy. Jazz is not his field, particularly like it's not mine. I'm going to stay in the game. D, Wynton Marsalis, final answer. Well, Wynton Marsalis is the right answer. Gutsy move, Ken. He just won $250,000 on a very courageous move here. All right, but that's how it means we're out of time for tonight. But Ken is going to be back here on Thursday night. And joining him will be 10 people who can't wait to take on this hot seat. And they are Brant Felton, Judith Murphy, Craig Hayamoto, Margaret Moore, Mark Hilson, June Hess, Richard Boldman, Gene Pomenti. Miguel Camano and David Schulman. Dom and Greg is all new, and it's coming up next here on ABC.
We'll be back with Ken Thursday night at 9, 8 central when he goes for a half million dollars. From New York, everybody, good night.